Next question, and this one will start with uh, Mr. Atkins. Describe specifically oh, sorry, three. Did, did you get your? Uh, he, he chose not to. Okay, answer. I'm sorry. Describe specifically three things you will do to ensure all citizens of Riverside, regardless of ethnicity or socioeconomic background or blemishes on the record, will have an opportunity to succeed and grow to their potential under your administration. Well, first, first of all. Uh, you know, uh, when, when you talk about diversity, uh, and when that was asked at a uh, uh, earlier meetings, I said, "Well, this is a, this is a tough question." And one of the one of the reasons it's tough for me is I don't see color, uh, and I think everybody should be uh, participate in anything that the uh, that the uh, city does. Uh, I think instead of using the word diversity, I mean, which means divide, we should use the word inclusiveness. And if you look at my uh, company, it reflects. Uh, what this community is. We go by and, and the, uh, the mix of my company reflects who we are. Uh, one of the things I, I did in the past, I was the one that initiated uh, that each ward and commission be represented by a person in, in uh, different wards. And eventually that came, came through and was adopted by the Charter Review Committee. But that was, that was one of my initiatives. One of the other things to do is we need to have everybody participate uh, my, uh, my partner in my business is, is a woman. Uh, I think what we need to do is look at some of these, uh, uh, go back and take a look at some of these pathway uh, projects that we used to have where we get interns into the city. I think we should revisit that idea and, uh, and give them that experience so when they go out in the job market that they have, uh, they have that experience that they can put down on the, on the resume. And I don't know why that went away, but I think it's something that we need to revisit and bring back to the, to the city. And also embrace it and get the private companies to, to uh, follow that same program. Riverside was designated an America's Promise community, uh, one of 100 best places to raise a family. Uh, a few years ago when I first came into office, and I think there's some, some room uh, to, to go back and, and grow there. I think we can do better in that respect. America's Promise, run by Colin Powell. Anybody heard of him? Uh, I would encourage you to take a look at his website. What it does is provide five things, or ask a community to provide five things for youth, no matter who they are, no matter what they have done. A caring adult, a mentor, right? Safe places, that means our parks, our community centers, our streets. Uh, a healthy start meaning somewhere to get a meal. Uh, we do that in our school system. We do that in, in the summertime at our parks. We've connected with Parks and Rec and the school district to provide lunches and parks over the summer. And effective education. Uh, I think we're doing that here at Riverside. And you can see some of the test scores rising. And opportunities to serve others. And that means community service. When people are connected to their community, they have less of a chance to be unproductive in, in that community. When they know their neighbor, Right? They're not going to steal from their neighbor. And so whatever we can do to provide Riverside's promise to those youth is what I will do. And revisit um, the reasons we, we had that America's Promise designation, and now we've, we've fallen away a little bit. But uh, I think I'll, I'll leave it at that. <laughs>